real estate development is one of the biggest businesses in America today. Almost everywhere you look, new buildings are going up and new communities are being developed. All the while, many sections of cities and towns across the country are empty, lying dormant and going to waste. This area of South Norwalk, Connecticut used to be just like that. Right behind me, where you see that spanking new parking garage, it used to be an empty parking lot. There were no cars there because no people came down here. And most of the buildings around here were empty and boarded up, most of them just waiting for the wrecking ball. That is, until an organization known as Spinnaker Real Estate Partners got interested and began the redevelopment of South Norwalk. Now, this area of this town is packed with people who live here, who work here, and come to enjoy the restaurants, the bars, and the shops. There is no question, they have changed the face of South Norwalk, Connecticut, and they are now doing the same thing in other communities from coast to coast. It's an amazing story of a company that cares about communities. The CEO of Spinnaker is Clay Fowler. Spinnaker Real Estate Partners is a real estate development company. We look at pieces of land, buildings, and see what we can do to the land or the buildings to add value, which basically means figuring out a use to put on that land or in that building that adds value to ourselves and our shareholders and to the communities in which we work. The trick is to make money at the same time doing what I think is socially approvable and socially correct. Maybe we can make a better community by combining um, uh, rehabilitation of buildings, adding new life, new people, uh, new value in terms of tax rateables, and make money at the same time. So there's a, there are plenty of places in this country that need that. We have a little small enclave here in South Norwalk, which we've been very successful, and we have uh, several other places around the country that we're doing similarly. And what kind of reaction have you gotten from the community, the community leaders here, from what you've done? most developers are pre-labeled as being ego-driven, uh, uncaring about their communities, and you have to work through that, and like most people, when you get to know them, we have real human motives that make us do what we do, and we're very heavily involved in the community, not just in the building projects that we have, but also in, in public uh, support for, for various uh, entities, we uh, do a whole series of things for children, uh, and that's how you get to be in a community and be involved in it and become respected as opposed to just being money-grubbing developers. We try to make a profit doing all of that at the same time. They help set the tone for others. Uh, they set a standard. Um, they set the bar quite high, and it helps us when we're talking with other developers uh, that we certainly want them to rise to the level of what has gone before. So, uh, yes, we're very happy that they're working in Norwalk and uh, that they've actually made their home here in Norwalk. Cities or communities have to have good leadership. If they don't have good leadership and commitment, then we're not going to go into those communities because that will become a very uh, difficult process, if not impossible, to move a project of this type forward. You know, we probably look at things that, that I would say that most uh, investors and maybe real estate developers don't necessarily look at um, because it's really not just the bottom line. It's, you know, what I'd call a triple bottom line. So we look at, you know, not only whether the project's going to be financially, you know, feasible or rewarding, but we look at the social and the sustainable or environmental aspects of the project as well. My vision for the area had been that with proper nurturing, this area could turn into a, an arts and entertainment district. And uh, especially given the inventory of great old buildings on Washington Street and the uh, closeness to the uh, Norwalk River and the new maritime aquarium that had been built and the proximity to I-95, all argued towards this area becoming something other than it was. So it's. Uh, it's been great working with Clay and that he understands the, uh, the ecology of, of building a community and, and understands that, that it takes a series of little pieces uh, uh, of various scales and sizes to, 
to make that happen. And it's not just, you, you just can't come in and, and do it, especially in an, in an older community like this. It's, uh, it's a process that happens over time. And uh, what he's brought to that is a very high level of consciousness and uh, professionalism and, uh, and knowledge as to how to get things done. Uh, Spinnaker had a very long track record with the bank. Uh, in fact, it goes back about 50 years. The uh, principals of Spinnaker, Clay Fowler and his father, have been uh, very active and important clients of the bank and have been very active in uh, residential and commercial construction. And we've been lending them money for nearly 50 years. They made a big commitment to South Norwalk and uh, to Fairfield County, among other places. And uh, as a lifelong resident of this area, I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to you know, not only find a good piece of business, but, uh, but service a long-time client and, and, uh, and do projects that really have helped make Norwalk a better place to live and work. As a company, we, we cherish community ideals and the rebirth of communities. We do an awful lot of public purpose stuff uh, all of our key players in our company, and we're about 50 to 60 people, uh, are involved in community boards. I think everybody who's intelligent and, and wants to give back does so, but I th think we have a large measure of that. And we will work closely with communities, community boards, neighborhood groups, our architects, our engineers, our consultants, to do what's best for the community, not just for today, but where we're looking to the future. We're looking to the 21st century. And that means other things other than just building a building. And um, we're very uh, pleased to have made an impact in this community. We wish to additionally make impacts in other communities, as we are in Portland, Oregon, and as we will be doing in the next several years in St. Louis. Um, I think f as we look forward to the next five years, we'd like to, ex to expand our cadre of partners, um, have additional investors, and we will continue this, uh, this venture in remaking, uh, in a small way, uh, the small faces of um, the American uh, landscape. And there you are, an inside look at a company that is dedicated to the rebirth of once thriving communities, Spinnaker Real Estate Partners. I'm Doug Llewellyn, reporting from South Norwalk, Connecticut.